Good day everyone and welcome to another special edition of Space Engineers. So today we are going to be looking at uh, the next iteration of my lineup. So you have seen the Cutlass crew. We've got the blue, the black, and the Cutlass red. We've got ourselves the Bengal class carrier, uh, which I've been working on slowly, bit by bit. We've got quite a few updates and stuff like that, including this amazing lineup. I think that this sort of uh, light sequence works a lot better than before. Um, a lot of automation in here, still working on that, that's a big work in progress, big work in progress. The latest iteration of my uh, lineup was the Liberty Cruiser, the Archer, uh, or it's technically considered in the Destroyer class uh, in terms of um, the Outland server. But uh, I wanted to show you progress on the next iteration. So this is um, the Destroyer class here, just for... Uh, reference and if we go up here we've got ourselves the cruiser class so this is going to be um, essentially the cruiser variant of um, the ship that you see below here and it's going to be a lot bigger it's going to have more armor it's going to be able to be uh, a much more affordable uh, formidable opponent now you may be thinking well this is a very odd color scheme well I also wanted to show you how I go about designing a lot of these ships. So I'm going to take open uh, this Excel sheet. And you can see in the background here, I've got myself um, the ship. And so the ship basically is the outline. And I put it in the background of an Excel sheet. And I basically increase and decrease the size of um, the squares or the, the, the zoom level until I get to a spot where I'm like, okay, you know what? This one is 92 long. That should be good. And so then I take this and I start basically going, okay, this section, I color that, and I take this section, and I color that, and I kind of, as you can see, this has got like a little bevel here, and so I've got a little bevel here, so that's what this, uh, this bevel on uh, uh, Star Citizen is. So you can see that there's a little bevel here. So this is going to be part of the, uh, the detailing. And so this is basically how I sort of build my ships. Um, I don't typically like just going ad hoc and just going crazy um let's remove the uh that so you can see inside and so you can see like even with this why well, I, I did fill in a little bit of that information but you can see that according to my spreadsheet um it had like the hydrogen tank oxygen reactor and, and i just kind of moved things around so i moved the oxygen just a little bit more so i could fit in one and two of the uh the uh the jumps uh, the jump jets, not the jump jets, but the, uh, the jump, uh, these things, the jump drives. There we go. <laughs> so we got the jump drives in there. So then this is all encased in a heavy armor and I'm allowed to have a, an 11 by seven by five. So it's five wide, which means it's three on the inside, um, five wide, seven tall. So it is able to fit quite a few things. And then in... <coughs> Excuse me. In addition to that, I'm also to have a three by three by one um, block over top of the bridge. So this is going to be the bridge here. But yeah, and you can see I've sort of lay, laid out and mapped out where all of these pipe pipe pieces are going to go, and uh, just kind of in advance. You can see down there. I started playing around with different sizes of engine pods. So that's sort of what the this engine pod is going to look like eventually. I just kind of threw that in there for now. Uh, just for reference, but yeah, this is sort of my design process and then uh, Once I get the basics behind something like the basic shape Using that Excel sheet is like a main guide um, Then it can start filling in the holes like for example, there's a there's a nice hole right here uh, Where I can maybe put down a service line or something like that or down here. Maybe I can Take this line here maybe move that up and then create a more of a common space in here. Uh, over here, I've got a jump jet drive that is going to be uh, sort of situated in the middle. And then I've got uh, in the back, I figure, you know, I'll have, you know, this interior all open sort of thing. Or maybe I'll have quarters and stuff like that. And then the very back, it'll have a door and access to a reactor. So the reactor sort of for the engine. So it's kind of an interesting concept. Um on how this is going to work but yeah that's an update on the uh the next iterations of the uh, the archer class cruiser and i figure uh this will be and i wasn't able to make enough blocks and that was a big problem that i had with the bengal class cruiser is having too many blocks this one i had the problem with not enough blocks to be a cruiser but this one i think is on pace to be proper so right now 
thus far we have 2600 and we don't have any of the sides so I'm thinking it's probably going to be about 35 by the time I'm done and I believe it is a maximum of 40. Uh, let me just double check on the, the specs here so the maximum sorry the minimum is 4200 and the max is 55 so I am well in the clear so we should be good to go we need the uh, four jump drives the two large reactors anyways that is uh, my little spotlight, that little update as to what's coming in. Uh, as you can see, even the uh, the forward ring is just a little bit bigger. And actually, uh, one little hidden feature, if you stuck with me through the end of the video, thank you very much. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to show me your love. Um, but in here I've got decoys. And so anybody who's trying to shoot at us with turrets or stuff like that um, may not actually hit our main gun. So I'm debating whether what weapon to put in here i believe i can have a singular rail gun um or one of those thousand millimeter lances so i'm not sure if i'm going to put the lances on the either side here or if i'm going to put more uh and then i'm of course going to have turrets all over the place so uh it is going to be uh an interesting build um definitely within the block limits uh required and hopefully the outland server appreciates uh some of the builds that i have so if you appreciate everything that you've seen so far smash that like button make sure that you show me some love and i'll see you guys in the next video